Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking Netflix icon inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the right one is an image, the left one is the icon or the logo created inside PowerPoint. So I will start with a blank slide where I already have this shape inside. I will insert any shape, maybe the rectangle. What I will start with is uh, setting the fill to maybe real yellow color and the outline to yellow as well and I will set the fill to a little bit more transparent one like this one. Then I will right click and select set as, I have to scroll up so you can see the menu, right click and select set as default shape. What this function will do is next time I draw any shape it will have this uh, fill and outline options. So I will delete this one and start again. I will position my logo in the middle, select insert shape being the rectangle and this time I will draw it in the right position. So I will start around here and make it like, like this. I will make it a little bit um, no, taller than it needs to be. Then I will copy paste this shape, move it to the right side, like this. I will insert a new shape being this uh, parallelogram. And I will draw it from the left top corner to the bottom right, like this. Of course I have to flip it, so I will select rotate, flip vertical. And I will use this orange handle to make sure that the slant angle is same as, as the logo, as the original logo, around like this. Then I need to trace the, the bottom part which is like a semicircle. So I'll insert a new shape being the oval. And I will just draw a pretty big oval which I'll move down here. Make sure it's center aligned with the rest of the stuff. And then I will resize it from the right side. But when I hold the control key on my keyboard, it will actually resize to, to both sides, both left and right. So I have to just make sure that the, you know, the shape is somehow similar. I need this shape to be subtracted from the other shapes and I need multiple times so I will copy paste it, copy paste it, move it to the same spot like this and I will do it again, copy paste it and move it to the same spot around here. Then I will select one of those shapes and one of those circles, select format, merge shapes, subtract and I will do this for all those shapes. So another rectangle, another circle, merge shapes, subtract and then the only missing piece is this slanted uh, parallelogram. So select this one, select the circle, merge shapes, subtract. And I now have uh, three different shapes which I use for my logo. I probably can, you know, move this, move those shapes to the side. So I, because I don't need to position ever anything else. It's hard to see, so I will change the color to the red one. So I will select format, shape fill, eyedropper, and I will sample this color. But of course, for the sides, I need a darker color. So I will again select those two shape fill eyedropper tool and select this darker red color. I will select all three shapes and make sure that the outline is set to no outline. And I almost have the logo completed. The only missing piece is this drop shadow below the middle part. I can of course select you know a format shape and add the drop shadow effect for the middle part like this. It will look perfectly fine if we have a black background. But if we don't have the black background like in here, you can see that you know it's kind of going outside the shape, you know, on the top and bottom doesn't look quite right. Also, the other thing is that the, the the drop shadow is almost invisible on top and going stronger as you as you move towards the center to have this fake free effect. So maybe instead of using a drop shadow effect, we will use gradients for those uh, side shapes. So I will select one of those side shapes. And for the fill, I will change this to gradient fill. So the fill should be a gradient fill. And I will sample the red color. So I will use the eyedropper tool to sample the red color. And then I will also sample the very the darkest color which I could actually sample. So it will be probably this one. So dark red color. I don't need the other stops, but I need to somehow rotate the, rotate the gradient so the darker part is around here. Now in order to make the rotation easier, I will move those stops closer together so I can actually see the angle like this. And I will just play with the angle, which should be around here, I believe. This this looks exactly like the angle of the middle part. So what I can probably do is I can probably raise this by, by a certain number of degrees, maybe like 5, so 345 degrees. Then I just to position this to the left side and make sure, you know, the gradient is going around here. So there is a little bit of gradient in here and there is a stronger gradient down below just because the angle is set that way. Maybe I can still, you know, use this and uh, make this color a little bit darker. So select more colors and move this slider a little bit down like this. So there's a little bit of more hint of the gradient. 
it's just a matter of tweaking it but I'm I'm pretty satisfied with the result so I can use the very same technique for the right shape so select this shape set the gradient fill you can see we have this gradient fill you know pre-selected but I'm not quite sure if I can move it actually I could so maybe I can just move the gradient stop around and have the very same looking uh, kind of fake drop shadow below the first below the middle shape Okay, so the only missing part is actually to make or to edit this uh, rounded rectangle. So I'll select, I'll select insert shapes rounded rectangle, which I believe is this one. Then I will draw it like this. Set the roundness of the corners to be a little bit smaller. Fill to be black, no outline. Actually, it has the properties of the default shape, so there is a little bit of transparency. So I, so I have to set it back to zero, send to back select those three shapes and position them in the middle of the black shape and that's it we have a nice looking logo no netflix logo or netflix I, uh, ne sorry netflix icon done in microsoft powerpoint in almost no time thanks for watching